Well, and Vic, this is very exciting for this area, especially for the U of M, because what this is the current train station right now. What they're going to be working on is a hub that would actually be about a mile away from here to be closer to the U of M, and it would combine the bus system as well as the train system, so they'd have a whole little transit center there, make things much easier for people to get back and forth through this area. I want to go live right here with uh, Kathy Coral. You live outside Chicago. You just took the train here. You're returning home. How exciting is this news for you? This is excellent. I mean, already it was inexpensive and it was reasonable time, but this will be faster. I'm very likely to come more often to see these guys. I was going to say, this is Naomi, your granddaughter. Uh, it has to make things easier for you all around. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's so easy. You just get on a train downtown Chicago and they meet me here, and I mean, that's just as easy as it can get. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Kathy Coral. And now we're going to talk to Michaela Dodson, who's oh. actually on her way to school in yes. Kalamazoo. Yes. How good is this news for you? This is excellent. It's so much more efficient. The train is just a perfect thing to do, and it's inexpensive, like she said, and it'll just be a great new addition. You were saying that you would eventually like to move to Chicago. Would it make it easier for you if it is the high-speed rail? Oh, absolutely. You can spend more time with your family, and it's easier, and like I said, more efficient. It's just great. Well, great Michaela, news. thank you so much for joining us, but again, they're making the official announcement this afternoon, but very good news for this area, because it'll bring construction dollars in as well. Live in Ann Arbor, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News.